Shalom. Right, Shalom. It's um, brothers from uh, GMS Atlanta, the brothers Zahab, the brothers Dom, and we just want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We give double honors to our elders and our apostles that rule well at GMS, and uh, much love to all you brothers worldwide, continuously pushing this world in sincerity. Um, today we just want to get into a quick um, GMS God speed. Um, start Isaiah the first chapter. Okay. This is Isaiah 1 and 5. Why should, be, why should ye be stricken anymore? You will revolt. Oh, let's go up. Start, start from one. Start okay. from one. Isaiah 1 and 1. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amaz, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, the kings of Judah. So, so Isaiah got a vision. Of, of what his people are gonna be like. That, that vision, you know, um, is like a dream is different than a vision. The most I can send visions to you while you're sleeping, as um, it says in Job. Go ahead. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. Yeah, because the most I gave this a special spirit. We are supposed to be a holy people unto the most I gave a special spirit to the people of um, Israel, the children right. of Israel. So he's been nurturing us, giving us jewels of, of knowledge, of understanding. Right. The ox knows his honor, and the ass his master's crib. Now the ox and the ass here is rep representative of two very stubborn and very um, dumb animals, so to speak. Right. Now, uh, I don't like to call animals dumb, because at the end of the day, they still know exactly what he's supposed to, to do. The niggas are the really dumb ones because y'all y'all don't know what the fuck's going on. But the reference to these two animals is because they have they're very stubborn. Okay? Like if you want an ox to do something, you gotta put like a, a, a ring in his nose and pull it. It's a very stubborn animal. Go ahead. No, but Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. Yeah, and what does the, the, the ox um knows spirit again? Isaiah one and three, the ox know of his owner and the ass is master's crib. Right, so the ox and the ass understands, okay, well, when I'm done doing grazing, whatever, I know where I need to go, I know who's my owner, I know where, I'm, where I need to be. But Israel don't consider. Okay? Israel don't understand their lot in this, in this world. They, they, don't, they don't understand their lot. They right. think that they're supposed to be niggas. Right. And that, that whole nigger culture is being pushed heavily through hip hop, and do all this bullshit TV that you Israelites look at. Okay. But Israel does not know. My people do not consider. Yeah. Y'all don't consider, y'all y'all are special people. Y'all don't consider that the Mosai, you know, Yahweh and why Yahweh Shai, that he that's your power. Okay, that that's the that's the power that that created this whole earth. And that gave us that special spirit. That's why we're so good at what we do. That's why we are the, we're the best at everything. Okay, but now we're the worst people on the planet Earth. We're looked at as as, as complete garbage. And that's because we have no understanding. We, we don't understand. We don't consider. We don't consider who our power. Okay. Keep reading. Uh, ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corrupt. They have forsaken the Lord. Good. All people are the most wicked people on the planet. We're the only nation of people that that, that, that ride around in cars and go shoot at each other, man. Good. For no reason. Just because I'm wearing red and you're wearing blue, niggas kill each other for that. Niggas kill each other because over, over a dice game. When, when the nigga is going to shoot you, when he lost, he came in the game to play and gamble. He lost and now he wants to kill you because you win. And that's how niggas are. Yeah. Niggas are exactly. evil. They're sinful. They always do something wicked. Okay. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. And who's the Holy One of Israel? The Holy One of Israel is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's the true name of, 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 of our power. Okay? And we have provoked him to anger. Okay, and we were we were in that in, 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 in that lot at one time. We were out there doing things that the both sides, you know, uh, frowned upon. You know, some of us may have been smoking, some of us may have been eating pork, some of us may have been committing adultery, some of us could have been, you know, murderers. Some of some there are brothers that come from all walks of life. So at one point in time, we were on that side of the both side. But when we heard this and we wake up, 
we, we left that. And we, we, we turned to our power and we now we give all praises and we got the beginning of the video and the beginning of each brother video that pushed out. We, we exalt the name of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. Okay? Yeah, I appreciate it. It's uh, Titus 3 and 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts. Exactly, like I just said. At one time, we were fools, man. We were walking around here thinking it's cool to be a nigga. Nah, we didn't consider who we was. You know, we believe the enemy just like you believe in the enemy now. Okay. You know, you're not African American, you're not niggas, you're not Spanish, you're not Mexican. You are Yasha Allah, Israel, the prince of the power. This whole book is about you. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that's something that you should you should totally you know wanna wanna latch on to and receive. Huh. Okay? But as the scripture that said, one time we were foolish. We don't wanna be fools anymore. Okay, we don't wanna be walking around here thinking that, that, that after every four years we go cast a vote and something's gonna change. That's fucking foolish. That's fucking insane. Insanity goes back me and doing the same thing over and over, getting the same result by expecting something different. Y'all niggas out here are insane. Completely insane, man. You had more on that or that was it? Okay, yeah, go back. All right, I'll start Isaiah 1 and 4. Isaiah 1 and 4, ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. A seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are all gone away backwards. All gone away backwards. All our people now are doing everything the wrong way. That's right. The man is acting like the woman, the woman is acting like the man. Okay, the kids are rising up against the parents. Okay, well, we're eating the wrong things. When we're supposed to be asleep, we're all partying. When we're supposed to be praising Yahweh Shai, they're praising Jesus. Right. Everything is all fucked up. And this is say we were supposed to be a, a nation of kings and priests. You look around you, man. Kings and priests don't do this shit. Nah. We're yeah. a nation of niggas and bitches. They, it's all going away backwards. Right? That's the scripture yeah. say. All going away backwards. Son. Okay, uh, jump, jump down to, to, to verse 9. Son, Isaiah 1 and 9. Except the Lord of hosts have left unto us a very small remnant. We should have been as Sodom, and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. And that small remnant is, is, is the, the, the group of men that you see coming out here week in and week out, pushing this word. That's right. Every other person out here in Atlanta is into homosexuality, because if you're not against it, you're for it. For it, that's right. That, that's what it is. And, and so you get the same judgment. Even yeah, if you be see. like, um, I'm not with that shit, man, but let them live. No, yeah. man, fuck No, them. no, no, you're supposed to put them to death. Yeah. As the scripture said, put evil away from Israel. That's right. If you allow that to happen, because if you go back like 20 years from now, niggas were saying, oh, nah, them faggots are cool, they're not affecting me. Fast forward 20 years, these faggots take, took over. They're doing everything. Now they got everything. Piedmont painted in fucking rainbow colors. So these faggots are really pushing an agenda that's going to forcibly allow you to accept and then totally, you know, no, be be a part of them, be be um be in league with them, so to speak. And that's right. Don't don't you get it twisted. Everybody that being pushed to you, some type of status or or some type of honor in this society, oh, they low key factors. Kind of, for the most get, part. Don't you get it twisted. Yeah, for the most for part. For the most part. If, if they ain't doing it, they agree with it, and that that make you a faggot in the spirit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, well the scripture said no effeminist shall inherit the right. kingdom either. That's right. So if you if you're cool, if you got a, that effeminist spirit talking about, well, he's you're supposed to have a feminine inside as a man, you, you're going off. That's okay, right. you're going you're going way off. And the scripture said if, if the most I didn't leave this remnant, if we wasn't here blowing this trumpet, this whole fucking place would be consumed with homosexuality. But Jake in it. But what the Lord said, He said, um, he um, he don't change. You know, therefore, you know. Jacob, Israel shall not be consumed. So yeah, we that small remnant. Okay. The rest of you got to die. Lord willing, we that small remnant. But the, you know, two thirds of Israel got to die. Now. Okay. Okay. We like this shit. We love this darkness. And, and no matter, no matter what we say, and the, the Lord, the Lord, to put a, a heavy spirit on the on the brothers, the men of Israel, to push this truth in very creative ways. Okay. And you niggas just love this darkness, man. It's a balance two sides to everything. You niggas love the dark side of shit. Okay. This is uh, Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, 
because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. That's right. And you, and you niggas are destroyed. Just look around you, man. You're a shadow of yourself. You niggas are destroyed. You don't know who you are. You don't know whether you're coming or going. You know you, you niggas are destroyed, man. And you destroy it now in the spirit, but the Lord gonna destroy you physically. Before it's over, there ain't gonna be nothing left of, of that fuck shit you had going on. Okay? The Lord said he's gonna burn you from root to limb. Ain't, ain't nothing gonna be left. As they say in um one says Malachi 401. Okay, okay. Well, keep on. It says, I will also reject thee. That thou shalt not sh shall be no priest to me. That's right, and that's why we over here now. This is the result of a rejected people. This is it. <laughs> this is where the rejected people of the Lord look like. You got simple ass <laughs> niggas just walking around grinning, laughing. That shit to laugh about. You a prisoner of war. Look at war movies. You think the prisoners of war movies? You think the prisoners be laughing? You the only niggas in the history of the whole prisoner of war concept that's happy about the shit. Yeah. You niggas. Yeah, because because that scripture started off by saying you've got been destroyed for a lack of knowledge. knowledge. That's right. Because Esau has now made you believe that you're a citizen of the United States of America. Now you have pride to think, well, I'm American. No, nigga. You were born here in slavery. And you're That's still right. behind enemy lines. You're still a captive. Okay? That's why when you get shut down, ain't shit, nobody does shit about it. That's right. You don't you don't have a real government. Okay? He, this, this nigga is Hamite, I should say. Obama was in office. He didn't do anything for you niggas. Why? Because everyone that's in the government, all the councilmen, all the senates, they all crackers. Yeah. So you 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 people are destroyed thinking right. that you're a part of this society. You're not. Right. You're, you're completely fooled. And like the scripture that said there in um in, in Hosea, you shall not be a priest unto me. The word I said earlier, we were supposed to be a people, a priest unto the Most High. Very, very holy people. Okay, now look at us. It says, Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. That's right, because we made agreement with the Most High, man. Um, in Deuteronomy 28th chapter, it lay it out for you. All the way down. You know, if you, if you obey me, these are all the blessings. If you disobey me, these are all the curses. Plain as day. You know, just how Jacob, the plain man, the Lord pretty much laid it down. Real plain, you know, simple. Real simple. You know, but Jake, Jake just wicked, man. You special people, but you're wicked. Okay. Uh, precept. This is uh, Lamentations 4 and 1. It says, How has the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold changed? That's right. And you, you are the most fine gold. Okay, if you would have had, if you would have just lay out all the nations and, and label them as metals, Israel would be the fine gold. So you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you would be the fine gold of, of you fans. Then you got your metals and your, your irons and your and your ores and other shit. That ain't that ain't help. That's that's talking about us. We the precious golds. Keep going. All right. It says, how is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. That's right. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, how are they esteeming as earthen pitchers the work of the hands of the potter? Even as the sea monsters draw out the breast, they give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness. Uh, now, if you know about the... Now, once again, the most high story that we were supposed to be such a great people, and look how we've, we've become. Like the brothers are saying, you know, we're supposed to be that gold, but now we're dim. Now we're, now we're fool's gold. We're not, right. we're, we're, we're completely, we've lost that shine. Which goes, that shine goes back to the knowledge, okay? Because when, when the scriptures talk about, like, when, you, when your countenance of a man shines, it, it's because you have wisdom. Like when Moses came back from Mount Sinai, he came back, he was, his face was shining. The people couldn't even look at him. Now we've lost that shine. Sure. Okay, now these niggas out here, dirty and crusty, all fucked up, okay? With a whole bunch of diseases, dealing with a whole bunch of different demons every day, okay? And and and, and, and completely proud about it. That's, that's the funny part. A nigga is still proud. Not knowing that he he's supposed to be a king, and he's being out here treated like a complete piece of shit. 
and that's, and that's okay, good. So it's good that you, you niggas are proud to be kind. And then it goes proud. back to with the ushers, the, pe the women of my people are cruel because they're the most dangerous place. If you, if you brothers didn't know, the most dangerous place for a young black um, man to be is, is in the womb mm -hmm. of, of the black woman. That's right. Because they have the highest rate of abortion. Okay, mainly because they, you niggas ain't shit. Yeah. And she, she, she feels like I can't bring this child out here because where's his dad? He's probably first of all, she didn't, the bitch probably don't even know where the father is. But that's yeah. that's how low our people have become. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you got something? I got a precept. Okay, yeah. this is uh, Proverbs sixteen and eighteen. Pride goeth before destruction. Yeah, and what's coming? Destruction is destruction. coming. Destruction. And what's what's the what's the main main ingredient that 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 our that our people suffer from? Pride. Right. Our women are the most proud people on the, on the planet, and the black woman is proud as hell. And she's bald. She's a slut. She's stupid as hell. Okay, let's keep it real. Okay, y'all women out here have been ran through. Okay, y'all think y'all smart, but y'all still letting. 20, 40, 50 different men slide up in, into your into your tunnel. Okay. Ain't nothing wise about that. Okay, well, all that brings about is confusion, disease, and and, and fucks you up mentally. And y'all can't dispute that, okay? Y'all women cannot dispute that y'all have been slutted out in America. All y'all, you go on Instagram, you go on Facebook, all you bitches are twerking. All you bitches are, uh, uh, all you, all of them. Every last all these one. bitches are exposing their bodies. You walk around outside, you, 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 you can't tell me you don't see ass and titties everywhere you go. That's right. And all of them got weave in their hair. They all got loud mouths. Yeah. The majority of them, I would say 99% of these bitches today, they can't sew. Maybe 100% of these women today can't sew a goddamn shirt, man. They can barely iron. Anymore? Yeah, can. And, and haughty spirit before a foul. Haughty spirit. Once again, that black woman. Um, before fall because destruction is coming. So so when we see these things, hey, we know, we know, because we're 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 paying attention to the signs of the times, okay? That's right. We're aware that that that, that nuclear missiles are about to be shot on America. Okay? We're aware that the microchip is the mark of the beast and it's here. Okay? We're aware, most importantly, that the apostles and the elders of great millstone are the men of the Lord and that's who we need to follow in this time that's coming. That's right. Y'all people out here, they, you don't consider, you don't, you're not aware of those things, okay? But time will come when when you it will be made aware of you, but it's gonna be too late. Get the, get the, um, the last scripture in uh, Romans 13. Okay. Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Okay, and that's plain, and that's that's that that's that's how the, we don't need to break that down. Okay, it's time to wake up. Okay, for the hopeful elect out there, you know, we being a part of that hopeful elect, we hope that we are a part of that 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 uh, that the elect. Right now, we're hopeful elect. We are a part of the hopeful elect because we are praying every single day that we get out of here. So we are already a part of the hopeful elect. Now we pray that we are a part of the elect of the Most High to make it out of here, and it's time to wake up to sleep. So continuously, we're going to continuously push this word to wake our people up, to, to, to hopefully fish the hopeful elect out here, and continuously um, um, pray for debt upon America, debt upon you two turns, debt upon you nations, okay? And pray for Yahweh Shai to come back, okay? If you have anything else, brother. I'll just finish that verse. Um, for now is our salvation near than when we believe. Exactly. That's right. Because because man, we we know it's it's it's, 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 it's where we're just close. We know that. No, just look. look. We know that. You America's see, finished, it's man. Finished. America's literally. Jake finished. is finished. Esau is finished. America is finished. Yeah. Only thing left is the chip and the news. And the chip is already here. Yeah, it's already so here. bring the news. Bring the news. Okay. So with that, we like to give our praises once again to Yahweh, 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 Yahweh